you later, bubs. Anyway, on the Ridgeway, um, Chalky Path, Ancient Road, through the Wiltshire countryside to start with, and uh, conditions couldn't be better. It's mid-September, it's quite cool at the moment, but that's okay, it's dry. Yes, got a long day today though. Um, the usual day goes to a place called Logbourne St George, which is about uh, 10 miles, but that would mean a 20 mile day tomorrow, which I don't want to do. So I'm going to go on and I've got a and b booked. So I'm carrying all this gear, but tonight I'm b and in it, in a place called Liddington, which is about a mile off route, and it's about, I think it's about 16, 17 miles today, which means tomorrow is about 13 miles, so uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this because uh, I've got a bit chubby over the last month or two. I really need some exercise and hopefully this is going to give me a bit of a workout carrying this pack I'm camping for most of it apart from tonight so fingers crossed for a really good week speak to you soon camera really for the first time in earnest today. Um, it's a little Sony vlogging camera. It's, uh, it's got a number of advantages. It's really small and compact which is the main thing for me because the weight of carrying the DSLR, big lens, tripod etc was getting a bit much. Um, so we're going to see how this goes. It's also got image stabilisation and a really excellent focus system. But <laughs> I'm still uh, getting used to the features of it. I mean, it's nothing like my DSLR that I'm used to. Everything's done on menus and it's just tried to uh, film a tractor, but I couldn't get the exposure right. I've sorted it now, I've worked it out, but the tractor had gone by then. So, it'll take a bit of getting used to. The image quality won't be as good as the DSLR because that works on a much bigger sensor. And, uh, you know, that's professional standard quality, but so far this, this has a lot of convenience for, for when you're hiking. So, I'm looking forward to seeing the results. I don't know whether you are. <laughs> okay, see you soon. It was interesting to see um, within about two or three hundred yards of setting off earlier uh, 
three scrambling motorbikes went past. Um, and then they went off onto another byway, but this is an ancient byway and I know there have been an issue with them wrecking the paths etc. This path is very rutted, but it's firm at the moment so it's not too bad. Um, I might not be saying that by the end of the day, but yeah, it's a shame you have to share it with motorbike motorbikers. Uh, it's a cycle route as well, I mean I've seen a cycle cyclist just go by. It's rough terrain so uh, how much fun that is I'm not so sure but uh, yeah so be interesting to see who we meet and bump into along the way. Speak to you soon. Kind of cycle event on today. Cyclists are flying past me both directions. It's not the widest track, not when three or four come at once, but uh, that's interesting. I'm not filming them all, I've filmed one or two, but if I film them all, I'll be here all day. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it looks like a organised event, they've all got barcodes on the front of the things. Here come a couple more now. six miles now. Um, the route has been pretty much inundated with cyclists. So as I was saying, um, what's about six miles, the route will be remembered so far for the cycle event. Um, there's just been hundreds of cyclists going past me, both directions. Been a bit of a pain in the neck, but 
there's a checkpoint just here at the bottom of Barbary Castle and uh, I suspect they're not going up there so uh, hopefully that'll be the last I see of them today. They were interesting at first, <laughs> getting some footage of them but uh, not so much after a while. But yeah the path's been hard, firm, rough, dusty and uh, stony so my feet are hurting a little bit. I could do the toilet more than anything. Uh, but I'm going to go up here up Barbary Castle Hill now, which is behind me. Um, it was a castle. Well, it was a hill fort a couple of thousand years ago. They call it Barbary Castle. But I don't think there's any remnants. It's just earthworks. But, uh, yeah, making good progress. I mean, the one thing about this walk, so certainly those first six miles, is it's all straight lines, so you do make better progress. So, yep, yeah, uh, do the drink and something to eat. So I'm going to get on the top of this hill and then have a minute. So I'll speak to you soon. These are the earthworks of Barbary Castle. This breeze should test my uh, microphone muffler. Not sure it'll keep that wind noise out, but uh, we'll see. I'm just sat on top of Barbary Castle, just a little bit away from the crowds. Plenty of people around, but that's fine, it's a nice day. Um, just had some snacks, so I needed those. Um, and a drink. Done about six miles, all going well, apart from a little toes, they're sore, usual story. Um, just found a message though from Gabby in my snack box, wishing me good luck and reminding me not to cough into the, uh, the camera, so good advice, thank you. But it's cheered me up and uh, yeah, no complaints, it's all going lovely so far, so um, I'll speak to you soon. to Liddington Castle. That is where I'm heading but then I've got to drop off the, the hilltop there for about a mile so I've got about seven miles to go to Liddington itself. Uh, not too bad, I've done about nine I think so making good progress. I mean it's it's great terrain, it's just rolling hills and uh, underfoot conditions are generally pretty good. Walking along racing gallops, turf's pretty good. So, yep, doing well, enjoying it. This little village is called Hallam, I think. Some gorgeous thatches. If you like that kind of thing. So that was one of the, uh, the watering holes that people have made available or authorities have made available on this walk. 
because as the name suggests it keeps to the high ground there's no there's no flowing water at all so uh, along the way at certain points there's water taps they don't really cover the whole route though there's some long straight stages without water so uh, if you were wild camping which I was thinking of doing today but uh, I'm not now I'm gonna be and be um, it's quite tricky and certainly as the forecast this week is for very hot weather unseasonally hot tomorrow and Monday um, it would have been quite challenging just relying on water taps and wild camping so that was one of one of the um, available services there at that cottage um, and I think the next one's about six miles away so I should be okay now to get me through um, yeah but it's good good idea speak to you soon So uh, this is Liddington Hill, or Liddington Castle. They're not really castles, they're um, the sites of old hill forts, but uh, pretty historic, probably from about 500 years BC. We used them for safety reasons, protect against other Iron Age nurks wanted to fight but for me it's the uh, whoops just dropped the pole it's the last climb of the day it's about a mile to the top of that and then a couple of miles down into Liddington itself so uh, I've done about 13 miles now I'd say so about three more to do I'm not quite sure where the mile is today but I'm feeling it now the bottom of my feet are pretty sore Great, the weather's been fantastic, so I can't complain. Speak to you soon.